Hi, this is Billy Joe with Moon Goddess 114433. This pick a card reading was a request by a subscriber. This pick a card is about he's moved on, y'all's broke up, and you're wanting to know how's it going with the new girlfriend? How's his new relationship going? How does he feel about her? So we're going to take a look into that. Let's get nosy into their new relationship. So do remember that these are general readings. Um, so just take what resonates and throw out the rest. If you need a personal reading, you can contact me at my email, moongoddess114433 at gmail.com. All information for readings are in the description box. Also, if you want to enter the drawing, I'm going to do a drawing on October 31st, 2019, and I will draw three names. Those three people will get a free in-depth personal reading by me. All you have to do to enter that is number one, be a subscriber. Number two, send me an email at moongoddess114433 at gmail.com, and I will get you entered. And... Also, don't forget that um, I do take donations through PayPal um, for um, inmates for literacy, books for inmates. So if you wanted to get in into that, you can go down to the very bottom of the description box and the information for the PayPal is down there. All donations are greatly appreciated. So, we have three piles for you to choose from. Pile 1 is with, with the Blue Aragonite. Pile 2 is with the Cherry Quartz. And Pile 3 is with the Sodalite. So I don't usually... <laughs> I don't usually like doing these kind of readings, but since it was requested, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, it was actually requested a couple times. Um, do remember, you need to focus on growth. Okay, personal growth. So, if it triggers you, sorry. <laughs> okay. Those of you that chose option number one with the blue aragonite, let's look into your ex's new relationship. Um, I think the person actually worded it as with the third party. So, how's it going with this new relationship? So, we have three of cups. Six of pentacles. Ace of wands. Base chakra. Foundations and Achievements, the number four. Number 28 for Victory. It's also the number 10 or the number one. The number 50, Angel of Strength, can be broken down into number five. So, with the Three of Cups, you see that they are in celebration um, with this new relationship. Um, he's celebrating. They may go to parties. They may go to outings a lot. Um, they go to um, gatherings. They celebrate quite a bit. You have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about give and take and generosity. There's equal give and take in this relationship. Um, there is generosity on both sides. You have the Ace of Wands. All Aces represent new beginnings, but those, this is with the fire. So Ace of Wands is like a fire, which is an action suit. So this is a new beginning that's actually taking, it's going forth, it's in action, it's actually progressing forth. And wands also represent sexuality, so it looks like there's a strong uh, sexual bond. They have equal give and take, a lot of generosity, and a lot of celebration. You have the base chakra 
representing um, foundations. So this is, again, uh, the beginning of the relationship. They probably haven't been um, together very long. You have foundation and achievements. They do see the foundation building. They're very happy with the way it's turning out. You have the rainbow on that card, the happy home. They see where this can go. They see it leading towards victory and happiness. They, um, she's, they probably see her as being very beautiful. And angel of strength. She pretty much tames that wildness within him, that beast within him. And uh, he sees this as a very strong connection. So is he happy in this connection? Yes, he is happy with this connection. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, for those of you that chose option two with the cherry quartz. Is he happy in his current relationship? We have the Seven of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. Justice. Number eight, Trapped in Fear. Another number eight, Emotional Withdrawal. Number 26, which again equals to 8, hostilities. The number 5, attachment. So, a Seven of Pentacles um, usually represents building that bread, building your foundation, uh, your financial security. But in this, with this right here, the way it's set up with all the other cards I'm looking at, I am being drawn to the picture of the rabbit running off rabbits have to do with fertility so if the rabbit is running away then i'm just getting a sense that it's not really growing um you do have a coin over here which i'm being i'm having the sense of money being tossed away you know wasting wasting efforts and in income we have the five of wands that represents conflict, chaos, disagreements. The Justice card. The Justice is a balance scaling. Um, fairness represents um, getting what you deserve. So basically this is like the Karma card. They're getting what they deserve. So what they may have put uh, you through or some other past relationship through... They're getting what they deserve in this relationship. Because then you have trapped in fear. And you have attachment. You know, if you look at the attachment card, she's chained to that pole. And she's holding up this mask. Which lets me know that after they got together, the mask come off. You know, when you first start dating someone or talking to someone, you show your best foot forward. You show them the best sides of you. But then, you know, when you start getting to know deep down, you're like, oh, shit, what the hell did I get into? Now they're trapped. They feel trapped. They're trying to emotionally withdraw, you know, and it, hostilities. It's this constant, again, with the five of wands, this constant chaos, turmoil. But they're, they're reaping what they sow. They're getting their karma through this. So, I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, if it triggered you, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to move on to the next pile. Those of you that picked option three with the sodalite. What is going on in their current relationship? Are they happy? Are they sad? Um, what's going on? So, we have the nine of cups. The Page of Cups. The Page of Wands. The number seven for Stand Your Ground. The number three, Fertility. 
the number 43 or the number 7 for man holding a coin. Number 35 or number 8 for first chakra, Archangel Michael. <sighs> okay. Are they happy in this new relationship? Well, we have the Nine of Cups right off the bat. This is a wish fulfillment card. So this is there you know this is someone they they wish to be with someone they like to be with someone they dream of coming home to they want it to move forward they have the desire for this to move forward you have the page of cups so we have two page energies here page of cups and the page of wands which lets me know that this is a young energy this is like a fresh new relationship and that's why they're the nine of cups the wish fulfillment they're hoping this moves forward you also have the fertility card they want it to birth new beginnings and new happiness and move forward you have the page of cups so the page of cups you know um it's still in its clumsy stages it's still um kind of learning what what each other enjoys and likes and trying to figure out how to um trying to learn each other's love language the page of wands so again you know young energy but with the page of wands of course he's holding his big stick out they have a good sex life stand your ground right now they're still still in that stage where like it's us against the world um, we're going to make this prosper. We're going to do whatever we have to do to, it's us against everyone else. If we have to be that way, so be it. We're going to make this fertile. I want to be the, I want this to be prosperous. You know, you have the first chakra, which lets me know again with the young energy, it's still at its foundation. Um, is he happy in this relationship? Yes. Sorry. That's why I don't like doing these readings. I'm going to be honest and blunt. Okay. If this triggers you, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, for those of you that it resonates with, if you need a personal reading, you can reach out to me at moongoddess114433 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.